Hey guys, this video is a <clears throat> commentary on Romeo and Juliet Act 4, and I'm going to talk about scenes 2 and 3 in this one because they're uh, both fairly brief. So uh, backing up a little bit, what you see in front of you right here is the end of scene 1, and I forgot to mention before that part of the Friar's plan, as well as having Juliet take the poison that's going to, sort of poison, that's going to make her seem like she's dead, uh, is that Romeo find out uh, what's going on, right? So the friar says, in this resolve, I'll send a friar with speed to Mantua with letters to thy lord. So it's going to be a very important message sent by the friar by some other guy um, to let Romeo know that she's not dead or else Romeo would eventually hear that she is dead because everybody else is going to think she is if it goes as planned, right? So that's kind of scary and important that he gets that message. All right, so going into scene two, <clears throat> we've got Capulet here. I'm talking with a bunch of servants because they're getting ready for uh, the wedding uh, the next day and this is a little bit of what we call comic relief it's not like hilarious funny to us but it's servants being goofy and it kind of breaks the dramatic tension uh, after Juliet and the friar come up with this uh, really serious plan right so moving on from there we got Capulet and Juliet and you'll see through this dialogue that the father is happy right because Juliet has come back contrite and apologized and she's going to be a good girl and marry the nice guy that dad has provided for her right so he is um, I'm glad on it. This is well. Stand up. This is, shouldn't be a lie. Uh, go fetch him hither. You know, go tell Paris. Everything's great, right? Juliet is happy and uh, everything's cool, right? Now we know otherwise. There's all kinds of dramatic irony going on here, of course, right? Uh, the nurse isn't even on this, right? Okay. Uh, that takes us right into scene three. So uh, Juliet and the nurse here. Now we know that Juliet is talking to and seeing uh, her mother and the nurse. I mean, maybe for the last time, right? Eventually she says, uh, farewell, God knows when we shall meet again, right? Um, and so here she apostrophizes, this is called an apostrophe, when she says come violent, she's talking to an inanimate object, like it's a person, like personification, but even more, that like you're talking to it, like a poet might talk to a tree or something. So she's talking to the vial because she's trying to figure out whether this vial of sort of poison is her friend or foe, right? What if it doesn't work at all? Okay, so then she goes, this is kind of a soliloquy here, right? Because she's by herself, she goes on for a while and she's basically listing all the things that she is afraid would happen in the situation of what the poison is supposed to do, where she's gonna be when she wakes up and what that situation could be like. And obviously it's scary, but you got a question about that. So read through the section carefully and try to figure it out exactly what is going through her head. Those are very short scenes. We are uh, all ready to uh, scene four. So I'll stop this one for now and uh, be back to talk about scene four.